Now recently, I bought my very first electric scooter, and before I bought my scooter, let's just say I did several months of research, learning as much as I could about them. And after my research, I figured that all electric scooters should not be created equally. Now, if you want to know more about that, you can watch my video about the five things that you must know before you buy your first electric scooter. I'll put a link down below and in one of these corners for sure. What I was looking for was something in my budget of up to around $1,500. I wanted high quality, I needed good customer service, and I needed a warranty and the ability to be able to get parts when something breaks. Now, don't get me wrong, there are plenty of scooters out there with good or better quality and as much power and as many features. The problem is, they cost twice as much. So what scooter could I get that was in my budget that gave me all the goodies that the more expensive scooters had? Well, let me introduce you to the Nanrobot D6 Plus. This baby has two 1,000 watt motors, a range of 40 miles, a top speed of 40 miles per hour, it's got disc brakes and a full suspension front and rear. Now these are the same features that you're going to find on the more expensive Dualtrons, Apollos, and Cabo scooters, but it's half the price. Now you beginners are saying, wait Hobart, I'm a beginner, I don't want all that power and acceleration until I get a little bit more experienced. And you advanced riders are saying, miles an hour, man, I can get a Cabo Wolf and do 60. Yeah, but there's very few people that can handle the speed of 50 and 60 miles an hour on one of these scooters. I'm telling you right now. Okay, so beginners, if you've never ridden a scooter before, this is what 20 miles an hour looks like. It's a pretty good cruising speed, not too sketchy, not too wobbly, it's no problem. Now, when you go up a little bit more to 25 miles an hour, the wind starts to affect you a little bit. The bumps in the road, the cracks, the pebbles, those things will make your wheels wobble. Because remember, you only have 10 inch wheels, so it can easily make you flip if you hit the wrong thing in the road. Here's 26 miles an hour. Let's go a little bit faster. So there you go, there's 30 miles an hour. And I'm going to back off that pretty quick because, like I said, it gets pretty sketchy up there. So you don't need 50 and 60 and 70 mile an hour scooters that you're paying twice as much for. Back to you, Hobart. Beginners, let's start with you. Now, one of the great features about the D6 Plus is that it has different speed modes and acceleration modes. So when you're first starting out, you can put the scooter in speed mode one, and that's gonna limit your top speed. Now, once you get used to speed mode one, you can gradually work your way up to speed mode two, and eventually speed mode three, which is full blast. Now, beginners, you're gonna be glad after just a few weeks of riding that you've got a scooter that has more acceleration and speed available, because I guarantee, once you get used to it, you're gonna wanna use it. Now, for you advanced riders, you can just go ahead and start off in speed mode three with fast start enabled, and you'll accelerate as fast as a Tesla Model S Plaid to 40 miles an hour in a couple seconds. So as you can see, for both beginners and intermediate and advanced riders, this scooter caters to both of you. With the adjustability of the speed and acceleration to your liking, this is one of the reasons why I think it's the perfect scooter for everyone. All right, so let's talk about range for a minute. Now, all scooters have a stated range, and as I've said in a previous video, during full performance, you're most likely only gonna get 50 to 75% of that stated range in real world conditions. Now, batteries, they're the most expensive part of the scooter, so a bigger battery does equal longer range, but it also costs a lot more money. Now, the Dualtrons, Apollos, and Cabos all have great range of 40, 50, or 60 miles, but they also cost twice as much as the D6 Plus. This scooter has a range of 40 miles, which in real world conditions, I'll probably get 25 to 30 miles on one charge. Beginners, believe me, after you drive 20 to 25 miles on your scooter, you're gonna be ready to get off and take a break. Your legs are gonna hurt, so you don't really need to go 40, 50, or 60 miles. You have to pay for that range that you're probably not gonna use most of the time. So beginners, you can get that big boy range for a lower price, and for you advanced riders, you know this has plenty of range for what you need. Let's talk about brakes. The Nanrobot D6 Plus has the option for regular disc brakes or upgraded hydraulic disc brakes. It also has electronic brake within the motors that you can set to off one or two. 
Now one is going to give you medium braking, while two gives you extreme braking. Now it's a little sporadic for me, so I keep that feature off, it can scare you sometimes. The regular disc brakes are extremely good and will skid me to a stop if I need to. Tires and suspension are really important features of an electric scooter. Some of the inexpensive scooters are going to have solid tires and no front or rear suspension. This is going to cause you to have an extremely bumpy ride and feel every crack on the sidewalk and every pebble on the road until your teeth fall out. Okay, your teeth probably won't fall out, but it's pretty bad. Now, the Nanrobot D6 Plus has air-filled tires and a front and rear suspension that's adjustable. Now, this allows the D6 Plus to glide nice and smooth, even over small bumps and cracks in the road. Now, this scooter does have inner tube air-filled tires and some people like that and some people don't. I'm kind of on the fence because inner tubes cost less than tires. So if I get a hole through my tire into my tube and it pops, I only have to replace the inner tube. With tubeless tires, if you get a hole in your tire, you have to buy a new tire. Well, I guess you could patch it, but still. So I'm not quite sure where I stand, but I think for now, I like the inner tube option. Just try to stay away from any of those solid tires because you're gonna regret it. The front and the rear suspension are adjustable on the Nanrobot D6 Plus, and all you need is a spanner wrench to adjust the suspension to softer or stiffer. Now, lighter riders, you're probably gonna wanna keep the suspension softer, while heavier riders are gonna want the suspension a little bit stiffer. That also helps with speed wobbles at high speeds. Let's talk about parts for a minute. Now, I've spoke about in a previous video, one of the most important things that you have to consider when you're buying an electric scooter is the availability of parts. If you buy a scooter from a manufacturer that does not have available parts, then you're in trouble when something breaks. And Robot, they've got Roadrunner scooters here in the United States that has plenty of parts available for all of the Nanrobot scooters. I could build an entire new scooter with the parts that they have available online, but that doesn't go for all electric scooter manufacturers, and that's another reason why I think the D6 Plus is the perfect scooter for everyone. Next is warranty. Now, most of the inexpensive scooters out there are not going to come with much of a warranty, if at all. It's extremely important to choose a scooter that has a manufacturer's warranty, so if something happens, you are covered. The last thing that you want is to buy a $1,000 electric scooter and have a five dollars or $600 battery go bad in the first month or two. Nanrobot has a one-year warranty, and if you buy it from Roadrunner Scooters, you do have the option to increase that to two or three years, I believe. Now, this covers you 100% on any part that goes bad within that time frame. Now, yes, you are going to have to do the work yourself, but what I like about Nanrobot and Roadrunner Scooters is that there are plenty of help videos on YouTube to guide you through fixing anything on your electric scooter. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not a professional electric scooter mechanic, so this really does help out a lot. Well, hopefully now you understand why I feel that the Nanrobot D6 Plus is a great choice for beginners, intermediate, and advanced riders. It's got the flexibility to tame some of its power for you beginners, but also gives you the speed and range that intermediate and advanced riders crave. It also comes with a great warranty, great customer support, YouTube videos to help you fix your scooter, and the quality that you expect from a $1,500 scooter. Well, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description for the Nanrobot D6 Plus and all of my safety gear and accessories I use, just in case you want to purchase any. They are affiliate links that do help out my channel. And thanks for joining me today. My name is Hobart for Hobart's Reviews. Have a great rest of your day and happy scooting.